Good morning, Pacers. I'm Felicia, a junior, go class 2017. And I'm Mariano, a junior, class of 2017. Today is Friday, October 30th, and you're watching Pacers on Demand. But we would like to start with the GSPN story on a recent graduate who just became a Marine. That's right, Pacers. Meet Peter Herrera. Uh, Herrera. Our crew had the chance to go down to San Diego and interview him. Alright, here I am down in San Diego. Gonna go interview a new Marine. Let's go. Who are you and what do you do? I'm Peter Herrera. I do. I just got out of boot camp for Marine Corps. All right. Why did you join Mar the Marine Corps? To join the Marine Corps. Well, to join the Marines instead of other branches is because the Marines is like the elite of elite. So, and I heard it was challenging to do this, so I was like, I might as well to make it a challenge on me. All right. What was the hardest part about boot camp? Just uh, the first phase of recruit training, how you just wake up 4 o'clock in the morning, not knowing what's happening. You're just getting yelled at for, oh, your boot's wrong. Get on the quarter deck. Ugh. Okay. Well, what's any other thing you'd like to add? Don't do drugs, stay in school. <laughs> Alright, well, thank you for your time. I just finished interviewing the new Marine. This is Dominic Carrera reporting for GSPN, signing off. The 2015 and 16 swim season is approaching fast, and the team needs you. All interested swimmers should meet with Coach Dave on November 1st at 2.45 p.m. in is that you? 36. Seniors, if you still have not registered to take the SAT or ACT, please see your counselor for a fee waiver and information on, on how to register. The last day for any senior to take their SAT or ACT who is planning on attending a four-year university is December. SAT test date is December 5th and the registration deadline is November, November 5th, 5th. ACT test date is December 12th and the registration deadline is November 6th. Good news, Pacers. Daylight savings ends this weekend on November 1st. The clock will set back. We'll go back an hour and you can finally have the extra hour of sleep you've been hoping for. On November 17th, 2015, there will be a rally for all 9th grade students. Freshmen will be recognized for academic achievements. All students will be invited, but students who have earned a 3.0 GPA will be recognized with prizes like t-shirts and sweatshirts. There will be hip-hop, dance performances, and games during the rally for 9th graders. Freshmen, please do your best to keep up your grades. Hey, seniors. A brief reminder that you only have seven months and two weeks left of high school. As you prepare to complete your A through G requirements, senior paper, apply for colleges, scholarships, financial aid, and a job, and move out, and etc. Don't forget that we still have many, many end of the year events. The time has come to prepare for your senior trip. Your $100 non-refundable deposit is due Wednesday, November 4th. Yes, that's right, seniors. If you are planning to go to our senior trip, you must turn in your deposit with your information form to Ms. Siobhan in the cable studio by Wednesday, November 4th. You may find the application and information sheet in the cable studio, counseling office, main office, or drop by Mrs. Hernandez's room for more information. Don't miss out on a building a lifetime memory that will last forever. The trip will include transportation, hotel for two nights, entrance, and hopper pass to Disneyland and California Adventures, Grad Night, mid Medieval Time Dinner, and Universal Studios, a long time with many groups activities. The trip will be from June 15th to the 17th, 2016. Seniors, your senior shirts have arrived. Come buy your shirts for only $16. If you buy a senior crown, you will, you will pay $13 this week for your senior shirt. So come on, put on your crown, and go to Miss Acosta's room and buy your shirt for only $13. This special offer is valid for only this week. Senior prom will be on April 29th, 2016 at the Mirage Banquet Hall. The tickets will be on sale beginning November 4th for only $70. FNL poster contest goes on all week. 
Whoever can make the best poster will receive a gift card to Starbucks. The theme is A World Without Drugs. You can pick up your poster from Mr. Wong and E7. FNL is ho also hosting a door decorating contest. The contest is classroom versus classroom. Teachers, please mark down all the students who helped decorate your door. Judging will be held Friday and the winners will receive a party of their choice from pizza, from pizza or root beer or ice cream. For your door to be judged, please send a picture of your door to Mr. Wong. If you'd like us to view it, view it in person, include, the, include that in the email as well and have them all in by Thursday after school. Congratulations to Coach Mike Albergini. After all these years, four decades of service, we are proud to dedicate the new football field after you. You have touched hundreds, no, thousands of students directly with your guidance. Congratulations on this field dedication. Do you, know, do you need help with your four-year college applications? We have plenty of help available. Our UCD outreach partners in collaboration with our counseling office will provide college application assistance on October 26th and November 13th. After school in the library, come and get the help you need before the CSU and UC November 30th deadline. For our second GSPN school report, to Kiara Grace for the story of the Safe School Ambassador. I'm Kiara Grace, about to go interview Grant Safe School Ambassadors. Let's go. We're going to give you guys an inside view of what happens for Safe School Ambassadors. We have some students here that are going to portray a bullying scene, and this is something that they're trained in when they go through their two day training with uh, Community Matters. Man, have you seen what she's wearing? Charity, you have you her. seen her? I'm get gonna her. get her. I'll get, get her. What are those? What are you wearing? Where do you even shop at? Now, what hey, are you those wearing? Those are Louis Vuitton. You don't have to lie. What are those? Yes, those are Louis Vuitton. What shoes. are those? We know she shops in her mom's she, bathroom. She, she, we know that. Okay, but this is a Louis Vuitton. Stop making fun of her. Man, what is she wearing? What is she wearing? What is she wearing? What is she wearing? It's okay. All right, tell me a little bit about yourself. My name is Mercy Longa Aya. I'm the president of the Anti-Bullying Program. What are Safe School Ambassadors? Safe School Ambassadors is um, it's like a safe zone for kids that are victims of bullying, at, um, not only in Grant, but people around this community. Why do you think Safe School Ambassadors are important? Um, because it gives, it gives void. Um, it fills in the void of people who need that extra help, that extra boost and um, support and um just like going on with their lives and stuff like that. How have you played your role as a Safe School Ambassador? Um, and this year alone, um, being president, uh, we have dealt with a lot of um, situations with kids, being in um, a lot of situations where they encounter another person as like being, being the bully or being the victim of mm -hmm. being bullied. So we help them and talk to them about how this came about and sorting out the situation. Thank you. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, my name is Augustine Aranda. I am the junior class vice president, and I'm also part of the Grant Union High School varsity cheer. <laughs> What's your favorite part about the Safe School Ambassadors program? Uh, my favorite part of being a part of the Safe School Ambassador program is just to be able to make a difference and um, be, be an example for other people. And there's many other reasons I can go on and on about. <laughs> <laughs> what made you join? What made me join is, again, I wanted to make a difference in Grattan High School. I wanted to be able just to stand up for people who don't usually have a voice because I remember back in my freshman year, junior high, I didn't have a voice and I wanted people to speak up for me and no one did. So by being a part of Safe School Ambassador, you are able to be that voice and be that person to stick up for people. Have you ever been in need of a Safe School Ambassador? Yes, I have, actually. Um, I looked up to people to be, you know, my, my own voice, but I realized no one can be my voice but me. So, um... Yes, I have. I stood up for myself uh, freshman year, junior high, I've been bullied, and I just realized, you know what, if no one's going to do it, then I'm going to do it. So being a part, again, of Safe School Ambassador that helps me be an example for other people. Thank you. No problem. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Hi, my name is Nasira, and I work at Grant High School. I've been working here for the past four years. Um, I came from Pacific High School prior to that, and prior to that, Nova, and then before that, because I've been working in the district 28 years, I did truancy uh, district-wide. 
Um, what is it like being a truancy behavioral specialist for our school? It's very stressful at times. There's a lot that we have, actually have to um, do here. There's the detentions that start first period. You can see our stack, that this is my stack alone. There's referrals to outside schools. There's referrals within our schools. We also do SSTs, which are student um, meetings with parents and the teachers when kids are failing. Um, we do referrals that come from teachers. Our room is constantly full with students. Um, we have a new program that's called Attention to Attendance, which is a district-wide and might even be a statewide program that works on truancy. So there's quite a few things that we actually are responsible for in a day. Um, I love being here at Grant. This is, this is by far probably one of my favorite schools and my favorite kids to work with. Then I also work with the Safe School Ambassadors program, and this year we're recruiting 40 new kids. So we're going to have a really good program established by probably December. Is there anything else you want to add for us grant students? I love you guys. I just love Grant. <laughs> I love you guys. I love the students here, good and bad. Love them all. We send the love back. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm Kiara Grace, just got done with the interview with the Safe School Ambassadors. Have a great day, Pacers. Well, this concludes your morning announcements. Pacers on the Bound is brought to you by your Grant Student Programming Network. My name is Mariano. And I'm Felicia. On behalf of the Arts Academy, have, have a, a great, great day, day, Pacers. Pacers. <laughs>